to shoot. Iggy on the drive. His shot rejected. The run out. Jalen Green. All right, now having the point guard turn, turn, turn with a little pressure instead. So that's something we hope that we see going in the beginning of the fourth quarter. Three-pointer to end the third quarter goes down by Jalen Green. Good, that's a positive going. And this is Green. Jalen Green crossing over. Oh, Jalen Green. Much for a few years with the Expos and the Dodgers. Oh, great feed down to Green for the flush. <laughs> That's what Jalen Green wants. Get him out in the open floor where he can show what he can do and just explosiveness in the open floor. Ignite keeping it to within 10. Green, the crossover, the step back, and the three. All right, that was pretty. My turn to get some right there, right there. See it? Wearing blue, Ignite wearing white. Kuminga with the early steal, and he'll push the other way. On a connection to Jalen Green. Absolutely the connection of the pass here. A floater over the top, and perfect. They throttled Austin by 35, but they are down double digits here to a good Raptors 905 team. And there's Jalen Green to the bucket, a chance at a. Jerry Jack coming away with that one. Final four and a half minutes. Lob toward Green. Great grab and flush. Perfectly placed pass as well by Jared Jack. League season is over. Yeah. Nix has replaced Jack at the point guard spot. Close to the rim. And there is Green <laughs> oh, yeah. on the curl. High above the iron. Into the game, and right away you see his vision. Brian Shaw calls him an old. Great job! He got his defender on his hip and didn't let him get away, get around. Yeah, Jalen Green continues his hot shooting. His threes that we've seen in this game have just been a chance for the tie. There, numbers Green in the open floor. Skip to green, baseline, hangs, and hits. How long did he stay elevated? In, he leaves his feet, right, left, right, left, <laughs> up and hits it well. Bobby Brown, baseline, here's green into the paint, hanging. Oh, Jalen Green. Defensively active hands, and then here, green earlier in the game was able win. That's off target. Numbers the other way. And an effortless slam for Jalen Green. Surprised that the last few possessions by 905 didn't get pretty good looks. This is probably the best look you can get. Jalen Green with dribbling into space. Green driving in. The finish for Ignite. Only like a four second difference between game and shot clock, two possession game. I thought, David, right now, if I'm Isaiah Todd, I'm like, guys, remember me? Over here, remember me? I got us back in the game in the third quarter. A projected top five pick is Jonathan Kaminga. Since his five star recruit in there. Definitely needs that parental advisory sticker in the black and white text. <laughs> yeah, at the corner, the bottom yep. left. <laughs> and Knicks have been. Really strong pieces as well. Dante Hall runs the floor and he's rewarded. Fine with their season profile entering today's game. Headman feed, that's green. Gray Jr. doing exactly what he needs to do when he gets it down there in the paint. Score it. Very dangerous inside and Jalen Green just pulling his way to the hoop and laying it. Taking a two, one free throw worth potentially two, and then obviously on an end one situation, just some driving angles to get to the rim. Ignite the chin, so the outside shot has not Fortunate there, but another stop nonetheless. Green falling away. Got it. Going one-on-one -on -one like he did there, so he's actually comfortable in that setting. Midway through the third quarter, the charge having cut into the deficits. <laughs>
three of the young guys on the floor at the same time right now for Ignite. And here's their leader of the pack, Jalen Green. Look out! He's been waiting, waiting a long time to get this kind of opportunity. Oh, switch to the hand. I'm guessing that's not what Brian Shaw wanted out of his timeout. You know, they often run a back screen for Jalen Green so he can do something like this. He's going to be double teamed. He knows he's the focus of the opponent's scouting report, and yet he has consistently delivered on and off the floor. I play for somebody else. Done. They're getting the job done. They're doing what, what was needs to be done. And that was my question, you know, for what team can figure it out and get the job done. I'd like to see him now. Over to the good guys. <laughs> Principal Singh has checked in on the Ignite side. Step back, Green, and open. Look at the high school ranks as Jalen Green goes to work. Steps back and green. As we approach the 30-second mark, trying to chip away once more. Green steps back in. Inside hall, kick out green. Feet set, Jalen Green splashes down a triple. Green on the offensive end, you see the clap. A full 24-second reset, reset of the shot clock should have occurred. Jalen Green shooting over the defense for three. Jay Matt Morgan lost it. The steal for Jalen Green against Peyton the second and one. Athletic Gary Payton the second is, and so for him to take this. Rebounders in the G League during his time over the last three seasons. Jalen Green one on three and one. And Green kept going. We've seen a couple of impressive finishes and transitions from him. And I had some very serious injuries and, you know, said he enjoyed his time with Sioux Falls and, and got the offer to come join Ignite. Nice move there to the rim by Green. Um, said he definitely wanted another shot at his pro career. What he's doing is, is just increasing his value. And I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure teams are looking at him right now. Uh, yeah, it's, it's time to get this young man the ball again and let him just be at the jump shot. And they're just, they're getting, I mean, it's a wide open shot. They're just not making the shot at the clip. So things going, so one free throw for two points here until the final two minutes of the game. Something he probably learned from his former head coach, Bill Jackson. Jack picks it up. He signals he wants to play for one, but then he finds. One shot, and get into transition. You know, for Jalen, I'd like to see him, you know, be a dictator a little more. I want to see a little bit of this. This is what I want to see. I know he hasn't been hitting. He's playing for the Santa Cruz Warriors this year. He was one of three Santa Cruz players in double figures. Here's Green off the bounce. Nice little up and. That Ignite is without Bobby Brown, who is out with an ankle injury. So Jack's having to take on a little bit more of that load of the leadership in the back. He put Oklahoma City back in front. Quick trigger, Green. Cleveland lost it. Good kiss of them can be found on ESPN+. That one, you know, was very special as well because we had a really tough season, our G League team, South Bay Lakers did. And, um, you know, as much as this is a team sport. See togetherness, how, how does that show up? How would a viewer notice that as well? Yeah, it's just the, the simple kippers things that you see. Good defense by Jalen Green. Getting to. That's a huge play right there to stop a bucket from being made and not. Uh, and especially as a young pro, again, it's not always about the shots falling or turnovers that you can't get back, but how do you adjust your... What him to do? He's out here to be a scorer, so... Right there. <laughs> He's got the... Press to just 25 days, and so you're not going to have more than a day off in between games. It's interesting what his mission in the G League is, Rebecca. There's Green. Jalen Green. Kaminga pump fakes. Jalen Green is open. As he stays down for an extra beat, Ignite has numbers the other way.
Jalen Green rips it away. I think he's one of the most interesting guys in the league, Kevin, in just the sense of you have an accomplished... Owens has been assaulting the basket. Jalen Green has had three straight performances of at least 20. With two-way players for both teams. Yeah, also mentioned the executive vice president of Bass Kaminga and Green. Yeah, they don't need him beating people off the dribble. They himself there. I, I was moving it a, a couple of things uh, on my abacus to the right hand side. He was getting hit. That's why he put it up, and that's why it looked like that. Got that three. He was open off of that pass from Jalen Green, but he decided to make the extra pass because it was the better shot available. Jack. That's been said before. Rebecca. Yeah, right. A really nice pass by Stockton. <laughs> We right. had here the first half. Jalen Green. Oh, on the same page there, Holland Brown, and they avoid the turnover. Good yeah. ball movement. Jalen of the NBA. If you're a big, you need to be a big that can shoot. Jalen Green saying, "Why isn't he playing with the Mavs G League team?" The answer is. They opted out here in the second half to grab a three-point lead, and there is Green again. Nice feed off the offensive. Game before you can move to offense, so that's what they need right now. Green blows by the defense. Three already, couldn't get that one to drop. Green into the line. I'm seeing now for that kind of ball movement in the first half. Another turnover, a three-on-one. Nice left and Green, Kaminga. Five points in this one for Green. Bodies. Green finding space in the. Green steps back into a the win over Memphis on Wednesday, but he's been held scoreless in this one. Just one assist in 18 minutes from Jack as well. Jalen Green. <laughs> I'd understand how to get my elbow you above know. the rim too. <laughs> Jalen Green and 0 for 2. Just signed to that earlier this week. Now accelerating underneath. Out to Jalen Green. Too kind, partner. Jalen Green looking like a miss. And now slow to get back the other way. Green. Put that left foot in the ground. Spin move to an easy layup. Green into a three. Starting to heat up late in the second. Yeah, nice uh, offensive movement right there by Cantor. Call-ups have slowed down in the last few days. There have been... And that's what, that's, that's what I'm trying to do here. Ha have you ever judged the dunk contest? Is that on the docket in retirement for you?